Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go over how to do effects in Lightworks, how to work with effects. Um, let's get right to it, actually. So I have my one of my favorite videos that I've taken. I imported it. This is my, my macro shot of a sea worm. It's just pretty slick. I mean, I just like it. So I'm just going to do a couple in and out points. I'm going to put a couple of clips in the timeline of my sea worm at various spots so let's scroll through this see if we can get a different spot of the sea worm there he's opening his big mouth Ugh. you see his eyes and everything is gross okay i don't know why i like this video but i just do so i'm going to put one more clip in here of my sea worm next to a pencil it's a cool shot Oh, open wide. There we go. Goodbye. All right, so I just hit an out point. Now I have these three clips on the timeline. Let's zoom in. First thing I want to go over is how to add a transition to the clips, and that's actually really easy. You can simply position the playhead in between the two clips, right click, and where it says transition, you can just click, you know, dissolve or one of the other transitions. So now we have a transition between these two clips, and let's watch it. Now Lightworks is playing back a little bit slow because of my screen capture software. Let's try again. All right, we're going to have to see now. If I go frame by frame, you can see it. See, see there's my dissolve. You can do something like a wipe over here. I can right click, go to transition. I can add a squeeze transition. And that one actually played halfway decently. One other thing I want to mention is if you remove the transition, I go to add another one. I can change the length of the transition. This one is 60 frames. I can change it to 30 frames, for example, which is a second. You can change where it starts as well. Let's put a push in there. See that? So that's how you add transitions between uh, video clips. Now let's go to the VFX tab. This is where you do most of your effects, is in this window here. You can resize this pane simply by doing this. Now let's say for this right here, I want to add some color correction. Well, the color corrector by default is already displayed over here. So I could adjust the saturation, for example, and that will you know, increase the color of the worm. I can decrease the brightness on it or increase the brightness. You can affect the individual components of the color. Here's the RGB, the gamma is the midtones. Brightness, of course, is the highlights, so and you get the picture. But if I want to add another effect, I click the little plus button right here. And then you have your um, your categories. Right here it says color. I'm going to select DVE. DVE effects are my favorite. This, for example, is a 3D DVE. Before I add this to this clip, if you look right here where it says current clip, you can put it on the current clip unfolded, or you can put it on matching clips, which I believe is the same clip in multiple spots in the timeline. For this, I'm going to do current clip and hit add effect. So now this has a DV 3D effect, which is displayed right here. And what this will do is I can, for example, mess with the X axis. I can change the Y axis. I can give it a little Z. I can change the pivot point. See that moves it further away. And you know, crop you can you can take section of it in and out and such. But the real thing I wanted to show you is how to keyframe these effects. Simply by clicking this clock icon on any area that you want to keyframe, you will set this up to be keyframeable. So I'm going to keyframe all of these areas that I just messed with. Now down here where it says keyframe, you're going to notice that some little nodes are going to pop up. So for example, if I 
move this clip right where the where this timeline is right here you're going to see a node pop up that's a keyframe that was just added to it so now if i go and play this you can see now it spins i can position the playhead over here and i can move something else and it will put another keyframe i can change the you know position this will add a keyframe for that as well so now if i play this back all those little movements i made are going to be recorded into this clip see now it's just moving all over the place and that's not all you can do see, see with this here you can go to this little keyframe section here and you can go through the points keyframe by keyframe these little arrow buttons will move keyframe by keyframe and you can click the minus button to delete one for example and i can click the plus button to add one if i wanted to or i can just add one simply just by moving something that will add it automatically and you also have this graphs tab right here now this is where the keyframing gets really powerful let's say because the graph tab is going to separate each of these keyframable components into separate components you can see all these graphs right here are all keyframable components now i can take this for instance and move this here i can add another keyframe there and do this i can add one over here and bring you know this is messing with the z axis i can do the same with the y in this graphs tab You, know, you, you can do this really with any of them. And you not only can you do it with the, um, the DVE, but you can also do this with the vast bulk of the effects in Lightworks. You look at this. this is, and I, now I can change that at will just by messing with those keyframes. But let's go to another clip right here. We have the worm doing, um, you know, he's about to open his mouth and show his pearly whites again, or his pearly blacks in this case. Well, let's add another effect. Let's go to color. Now you can keyframe the color as well. And you have all these individual, um, you know, color presets that you can add to this. So I'm going to add old time movie to this. Simply just drag it in. That's kind of how. That's pretty slick. I like that. I don't know how I'm going to keyframe this, but let's see. So this is the old time movie effect. And you can see if it has this little clock here, then it is keyframable. So I'm going to click the little clock. I'm going to highlight all of these. I'm going to go back to graphs. And I'm going to keyframe every single point in this. No matter of fact, doing this is probably going to make it look pretty cool. Because that's keyframing these little things over here. So this is going to make it flutter around. See that? That stuff on the sides is because of this. Now you can do the noise amount. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff with these keyframes. You can even you can uh, keyframe far more as well. Let's look at this clip over here. Click the add. Let's find something else. Text. This is how you add your text as well as with the effects tab. Now you have all kinds of presets down here, which, for example, if you put this preset on, then you get this set up which I don't really want. And because I don't really want that set up, I'm going to get rid of this setup. So if I go to heading and click this little toggle right here, I can click remove and that'll get rid of that. Click remove right here and do the same. That's how you get rid of the effect. So let's go to a, uh, just a title. So I can, I can edit the text by just you know, type whatever in there. I don't know what language that would be. You can change the size, the f color. And this is keyframable, the color, see? That's keyframable. So is the size. So let's let's keyframe all this. All you have to do is turn those on. You click the graphs icon right here. And in fact, this ought to be kind of fun, actually. So let's um, add a keyframe there for the red. You just click the little plus. So I'm going to hit play. I'll stop it right here. Now I'm going to change the color to something else. 
change it to blue starts out as red it turns blue just like that now if I go hit this little arrow right here it'll bring me back to this keyframe then if I hit it again it'll bring me back to this one and I can also change numerous other components I can change the size of it as well I can make this line up with what I did up here by clicking the arrow back to that keyframe and I can do you know this Let's bring it up even more than that see that turns blue and then it'll fade back down and don't forget if you know if you want to get rid of any of these effects just go back to the settings tab and just click right here to you can you know toggle it on and off with the little green button that's off now it's on you can get rid of it by hitting remove something else you can do is you can leave the effect on and you can just click reset you can reset individual positions or just hit reset all and just you know put it back to the way it was initially you know and this essentially is all you need to know to add effects and light works and to you know just play around with the software and get to know it use that graphs tab for your keyframes and you know you can put your transitions and your titles in from the effects tab as well and i'll be back with another tutorial at some point thank you for watching